Hi, everyone. This is, of course, Dr. Natalie. And today, instead of writing you all a regular newsletter, I thought I'd talk to you. You know, it's been a few months since I send you anything. And as you know, when you signed up, that was part of my promise that I wouldn't inundate you with lots and lots of emails and sales pitches and stuff, but that when I write, it'll be about something that is dear to my heart, near to my heart, something that might be important in the world, something energetically that I know you would benefit from knowing. Or of course, a special invite from me to you for an event that I'm participating in, a program that I have but not to be consistently just sending you stuff. And I take my word very seriously, so I don't. And for the last few months, two months about, I think you've noticed I've been kind of quiet. And it's been good. I talk about women at a crossroads, people at a crossroads, and we all have them all the time, right? I, I know you know what I'm talking about. You've been with me. Most of you have been with me for a while. And I'm talking to all of you who have been so loyal to me in the subscription to my newsletter. And of course, I'm also talking to all of those who have more recently joined me, joined us here in this group. And even though we may not talk to each other, there is a group here. Well, it is today, April 6th, as I'm recording this, which means we're at the end of the full moon in April, which, as uh, you may know, is also known as, discussed about, talked about as the pink moon. I don't know if you saw it last night or this morning when you woke up. It's, it's, it's simply beautiful. And on social media, there are lots and lots of pictures. Full moons are always important. Pink moons are special. I think they're special. And also, if we look at energetically what it all means, of course, it is special. We now have April. This full moon came not just in the year of the water. At the same time, I was going to say, but at the same time, it also comes as we are looking at a number of holidays, all of which are being celebrated at a similar point in time, whether it is Easter, Ramadan, Passover, and I'm sure there are many more holidays, celebrations that I cannot name right now, and I sincerely apologize for that. There are just so many cultural events happening right now during this time. It doesn't matter what religion you're a part of. Added to all of those religious and cultural and spiritual holidays, we have a pink moon, a pink moon that is moving into the sign of Libra. Now, I'm not an astrologist. I do know, though, that this move into Libra indicates that changes are coming and I can feel it. Part of the changes I'm back. So expect renewals, expect changes, expect breakthroughs, expect the unexpected. And while that is happening, be ready to take action. We're now moving into a phase in this year of the water rabbit where, where death and rebirth happens. And that is also what all of these, many, not all, what most of these religious and other holidays stand for. Death and rebirth. Spring, things die and then start to blossom again. Here in Germany, it's, well, in Northern Germany, it's quite cold right now. And yet, there's sun. And yet, you do see all of nature 
starting to come back. You know, I always like to refer to nature. Nature has had its downtime and now it's coming back. So yes, I'm coming back. And I invite you to come back as well. To come back to you. I always talk about reconnecting the head and the heart, knowing your purpose, being able to know yourself, love yourself, trust yourself, and then walk forward confidently. And yes, a change means that I will work on, I will promise, I will work on writing you more consistently, at least once a month. Only more if there's something else to tell. There are lots of things happening over here. My daughter and I, we just moved into our own apartment. You know, we've been staying with my mom since we moved to Germany. I'm loving being back in Germany. I'm loving being in Europe, as does my daughter. We are doing lots of activities. I can see her blossom and grow. And it's just makes my heart sing. And I know that the hit and the heart made the decision together. And then there are so many opportunities that are opening up, things that I'm reconsidering, reconfiguring. I love to see if that is happening for you as well in this time of change. And please remember, as I have learned from Marie Diamond, that this is the year of the water rabbit and what it means. We're coming into the second quarter. So now we are looking at, okay, I've been analyzing what's going on. We're going to analyze a little bit more. We're going to feel a little more. We're going to figure out a few more things. And we're going to start the decision-making process. I'd love for you to be able to make those decisions calmly and clearly that they work for you. Because I want you to live happy, fulfilled life living your purpose and fully understanding your true talents, your true gift, and how to best share them with as many or as few people as you'd like. So at the end of the full moon, the pink moon in April, moving into Libra, and as we are now expecting, lots and lots of changes. I will send you a few more newsletters and updates to help keep the momentum going. And hopefully you'll feel supported by those. I will invite you to certain things. But most of all, I always tell you that you can reach out to me if there's something that you think I can be of help with. So I'll put a link in here as well. If there's something on your mind, just book your 15, 20 minutes with me and we'll chat. And who knows, I might have some insights for you. Until then, whatever you may be celebrating, whatever you may not be celebrating and however you're celebrating or just going to enjoy this weekend, May it be a calm, clear, fully connected, and most of all, loving, loving weekend for you. I will be in touch very, very, very soon. Thank you. Namaste.